I got a request to show how to show and hide hands by pressing an invisible button on a watchmaker watch face using watchmaker for Android. This doesn't show you how to do this from scratch. If you want a video on how to do that, I have one up on my site called Watchmaker and Lua making an interactive watch face for Android Wear. This particular watch face is pretty simple. Uh, it has three elements and I'm going to show um, what all these elements and scripts are comprised of in order to get this working. So um, you go into customize watch face and you have only three elements. Um, I'm using the image itself as the invisible button so it's not a, it's not an invisible button but you can you can apply it to any button. Um, you can make the opacity zero so you can't see it. Um, in this case it was simpler just to use the image itself. So the image itself um, if you go down to the bottom and you select the tap action, it calls a function that I'll show later called toggle opacity. And when you click it and it calls that, it gets the, uh, toggles the opacity values within the script. And then the opacity for these elements are constantly set to call other functions that return the current opacity. Um, so I'll show those also in the script. This uh, variable here called var unused is not really used but it's uh, necessary to put something there. It doesn't really uh, matter what. So both these hands have that opacity that set to uh, call in a function called get opacity. Okay so let's let's take a look at the script hit this watch button here to uh, go and look at or edit the script. You can edit it here and see uh, your results right away. So this is a very simple script. This is the entire thing. You see me scrolling up and down a little bit here. There's just a few constants, four constants, and three functions. One of them's not even being used. This good opacity, uh, this one right here, is not being used but the get opacity 2 is the one being used. This is it. I, I'm, I'm not going to actually go into deep uh, explanation, but the toggle opacity changes these variables within this script and sets them. And once they're set, any other functions can go and grab those variable values, which is what this get opacity 2 does right here. And if you set your opacity to this function name, and it grabs those opacity values, then they go back and forth. They get toggled between 0 and 100. And that's really it. And you can see it working right there. So that's it. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, you know, thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching.